Hi, beautiful love bugs. Hey, guys. Hey, beautiful love bugs. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday. Happy Monday. If you're new here, Collective, I want to say thanks for stopping by. Please take a minute. Like the video. Share the video, honey. I really appreciate the love and the support of this particular channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Share the videos. Once again, it's greatly appreciated. Appreciate it by me. I sent this message out in love, honey. Yes, it will, it will be a general message. You could be weepy today, sad, um, emotional, and that's okay. Yes, it doesn't change the fact that God chose you. Okay, you're chosen. You're favored by our Heavenly Father. And uh, things are going to work out just fine. Continue to persevere. Continue to press a fear. Continue to press forward okay you are appreciated yes don't be don't be fooled by what it may just appear to be um you know the moment in the moment okay we can get fooled like that we can get fooled and throw it off track based upon what we feel at any given moment but we should not let that deter us or stop us collective so let's just go ahead and see what's going on what's going on we have a is it a full moon i believe we have a new moon Okay, we have a new moon coming up pretty soon here. Yeah, I believe it's in Capricorn. Let me know, okay? Yes, overall energies, we have the moon. Okay, you could be a cancer man, cancer woman. I picked up on the sadness. There's the sadness here. The five of cups. Yeah, you may be, you know, grieving today. My condolences to anyone that's lost a loved one or anyone that's near and dear to them. My condolences are certainly sent to you today, honey. Yes, my sympathies and heartfelt warm wishes are with you if you're going through a divorce or a legal separation or just any kind of situationship that uh, is painful, sad, okay, traumatic. Yes, I'm sending you warm wishes tonight yeah you may you may feel like someone is sending you some illusions yes with the moon energy being here you feel like somebody playing mind games with you or you're un you're unaware or you're not sure of their true intentions or motives towards you and it kind of has you in your feelings okay ask god to show you okay be patient and let things play out too yes yes don't be so quick to trust don't be so quick to trust but also, don't be so quick to judge or um, don't be so quick to be harsh with what your intuition is telling you, okay? You have to learn how to trust it, okay? Yes, we can be wrong sometimes, okay? But yeah, don't ignore your intuition. Trust what you're feeling, okay? Our Heavenly Father loves us. He doesn't want us to be uh, in the blind or unaware as, as to what people's motives towards us may be. Okay, ask for clarification. Yes. Yeah, you're in your feelings. This could be a man here Whew, that's heavy in his feelings today. Yeah, you could be a female here in your masculine energy. Okay. Yes. You're very caring here. You could be healing. The collective, we all are healing, honey. Yes, we all are healing. Yes. Our Heavenly Father is aware, period. Yeah, I see someone that's very generous here, very kind-hearted. Yeah, you may you may have um, you may have some family members that are not doing so well, and they are the ones that are grieving. Okay, they're tired. They are in grief. Um, they have instability here. Okay, pray for your loved ones. Period. Even if you don't see eye to eye all the time, just send a quick prayer up. Okay. Yes. Our Heavenly Father is aware, period. I see justice being here. Yeah, you could be divorced today. And you're just having one of those days where it's like overwhelming for you. Okay? Or you could be in a separation phase. And it's just one of those days where you're feeling overwhelming sadness, um, remorse. You could be missing a loved one too. That's here too, period. I see the seven of pentacles being here. There are a lot of emotions um, perhaps that you've buried, okay? They're just buried deep within. It looks like those emotions 
are being brought up to the surface to be dealt with. Our Heavenly Father is allowing these emotions to be brought up so we can acknowledge them. We can, we can um, ask God to help us heal and get better. Hey, you may even want to ask our Heavenly Father for guidance. You may even have some questions about some things. Don't be afraid to ask our Heavenly Father. Okay, here he is. I see the four of swords here. You crying in your bed here. Okay, you cry when you're alone. Or you may take moments throughout your day when no one's looking and you may shed a tear here. There's an overwhelming amount of sadness here. The Ace of Cups, all these tears. This is somebody crying in their bed here, okay? Or in the privacy of their home, possibly their car, maybe the shower here. Maybe even on your lunch break, you're sitting in your car here. All that energy is here. This could be your ex too, okay? They're here. Overwhelming amount of sadness and grief is here for them. Period. I see an earth angel that's been shedding some tears. The earth angels, the earth angels, tears never go unnoticed by God. Okay, just, just know that. Period. He hears us. He knows the cause of our hurt, even if we don't. Remember, we're, heal we're healing, so there's a lot of, you may be overwhelmed by some emotions that just hit you out of the blue. Okay, you're healing. Yes, period. You never want to make an earth angel cry. <laughs> that's just not good. Yes, perhaps someone made you cry. Perhaps someone did something that was uh, egreg egregious. Um, highly, highly toxic behavior they exhibited towards you. Okay. Yeah. They're feeling some regret and some remorse here. Or this could be you. Okay, you're feeling the pain of the trauma that has been inflicted upon you by someone you cared about. Just expect to ha have those... Just expect to have those moments where you release some tears, you release some frustrations, you release some anger. You have your days where God God can literally quiet your mind, your heart, your soul. Okay, he can he can he can he can uh, bring peace to you. He really can. Period. I see the 10 of pentacles being here. There's an unexpected windfall of money coming in. Period. You've been cultivating it. You've been working towards it. Remember? Remember that? Yeah. You could be overwhelmed and stressed right now because you feel like it's never going to happen. Or, you know, you feel like you've tried everything and, and, and it just seems like you're just not, you're not progressing. Or you feel like your, your, your process is taking longer. Well, your process is going to take longer because you got God, okay? God is going to ensure that uh, the right people are in place uh, at the right time to ensure that... Um, you receive your just due here, period. Yeah, when when God has his hands involved in it, it's solid. It's assured, okay? It's tears of joy. This could be an overwhelming amount of tears that you will be shedding at this unexpected windfall, okay? This windfall, this lump sum of money that you have inherited. It is an inheritance, this will be an inheritance from, this is from our Heavenly Father to you. It's overwhelming. It's going to be overwhelming. It's overwhelming here. So this could also represent someone that is just grieving, um, possibly just feeling unworthy and just in awe that God has released such a massive blessing on them too. You feel like you don't deserve it or are you just so grateful to God you don't know what to do. Just thank Him, okay? Your privilege here, very privileged individual here. Solid, you're solid as a rock here. Okay, solid. Mm -hmm. You may be getting ready to uh, purchase a house. Mm -hmm. You may have a lot of responsibilities uh, related to business, your business, your home, your family. Okay, that's really, really been um, weighing heavily on you. Okay. Yes, I see that. Period. Yes, you see the full energy? After you've cried your tears, baby. After you have been through the refinery process. After you have been cultivated by our Heavenly Father. Look at you now. Walking into the greatest season of your life here. This man looks like he's walking um, <laughs> into this brand new luxurious home that he, has that he has inherited by our Heavenly Father. 
he's had this home built from the ground up, okay? Or he's been able to purchase this, okay? Yes, overwhelming amount of tears are here. Overwhelming. The king and the queen of cups are here, okay? There's a pair here. Yeah, you have a spiritual inheritance, honey. You have an ace of pentacles. That includes the ten of pentacles, okay? It, it includes the ace of pentacles, okay? The ace of pentacles, the ace of cups, the ten of wands. Yeah, it's more responsibility with the ten of wands, but hey, you, 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 you can handle it. I see the nine of pentacles being here. So you have an ace of pentacles, ace of wands, ace of cups, ten of pentacles. Yeah. Wow. You are literally chosen by our Heavenly Father to receive a massive, massive abundance here. Massive, massive abundance. A beautiful love story will be coming into fruition. It just will be. Okay? It's not going to be for everybody. Okay? Don't kid yourself. Okay? Ask God to show you. Do you have an Ace of Pentacles? Do I have a spiritual inheritance, Father God? Is this message for me? Okay. Yes. Do I have a divine counterpart? <laughs> Do I have this beautiful kingdom spouse? Will I be the one to leave generational wealth? How can I even start to get the process going to leave the generational wealth? Okay. We have to ask God these questions. Okay. Just because you hear readers speak about it in the tarot message does not mean that the reader is talking to you, okay? Especially if you know you've been out here with the Five of Swords, okay? Being abusive, okay? Committing crimes, being a bully, having a lack of conscience, uh, a lack of remorse for your treacherous behavior, being arrogant, um, being narcissistic, sabotaging others, Okay, you know this message is not for you. I have no sympathy for uh, people like that. Okay, not someone that's uh, egregious or has ill will and intent towards bringing destruction towards someone repeatedly or at all. This message is not for you. You can click off. Okay, there's nothing here for you but karma and not the good karma. Okay, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> moving along in this particular message. Yes. You've been patient through some pretty heavy obstacles that others have placed in your path. Very willfully and intentionally here. Somebody wanted to leave you just hanging with the hangman being here quite literally. Yeah. You may have been abandoned. Uh, left, left feeling like you wasn't worthy or good enough. This could even be related to work too. You feel like you can't never get ahead, you can't get promoted, you can't get better job opportunities, you feel like the doors of uh, advancement in terms of your career were never going to open or never going to be open for you, yes, you 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 felt these, uh, you've, you've had um, people willfully and intentionally sabotage you, okay, remember that, <sighs> yes, somebody literally wanted you to be stuck, confined, having self-limiting thoughts, uncertain yeah a lack of direction yeah they wanted you to just walk away from your ace of pentacles your spiritual inheritance they wanted you to quit your job they wanted you to give up there are some people in the collective that have been repeatedly attacked because of what they do for work or what they have been passionately called to do by our heavenly father yes people have been spiritually attacking them um, physically going behind their back, saying things negatively, uh, negatively about what they choose to do for their work. Okay. Yes. So the journey was not easy for you. The journey was never going to be easy for you because the calling was not easy, but nonetheless, you answered the dang on call. You answered the call here. Yes. Hmm. You may have had a really, really, um, tough parent. Okay. You had a mother that may have been very, very violent, volatile, cruel, narcissistic, um, emotionally unavailable, okay? You may have you may have grew up like that, okay? You may have grew up in a foster home, okay? Your auntie could have raised you, your grandmother, okay? You traveled quite extensively, never really settled, okay? Always on the move, 
just emotionally unstable pretty much your whole damn life here okay yes yeah mm -hmm. but you stay true to yourself and that's good okay yeah you got somebody here from your past they they are from your past i feel like you haven't spoken to this person here uh, they were behind the scenes causing major uh maybe may, this could have been your neighbor here major upheavals for you okay yeah somebody left you heartbroken or that was the intended goal okay this could have been a childhood friend somebody you grew up with uh this could have been a relative this could also have been a partner here or somebody you had a high interest in it could just be different people uh that just left you to just fend for yourself out here or that were behind the scenes willfully and intentionally it could have been people behind the scenes that were willfully and intentionally doing things to cause you to have uh, a terrible damn time okay yes you're, you're 30 years old 31 years old okay yeah 41 years old 52 years old here okay yes you're the queen of swords the queen of wands the queen of swords she's a lifelong survivalist yes the queen of wands she's determined to succeed okay period okay she doesn't care what you think about her period your judgments and your opinions of her has never stopped her yeah yes that's what i see yeah archangel gabe that's what i see archangel gabriel is with you make no mistake about it there's no confusion about it period there's the ace of pentacles there it goes mm. Somebody did not want you to be happy, essentially. They didn't want you to have a new house. They didn't want you to get married. They didn't want you to have a happy outcome, okay? They didn't want you to receive your, your blessings, you know? Takeoff said that in a song, God rest Takeoff soul. My favorite rapper of all time. Takeoff said that in a song, the devil trying to take my blessings. He also said you got to rebuke the, those demons with the Holy Spirit. Okay, period. Somebody did not want you to receive your blessings here. Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is the masculine, powerful masculine energy that's protecting and watching over us. Judgment has been called on somebody here. They got to pay. They wanted you overloaded, overburdened, stressed. Someone may have even cast a spell on you to gain weight. Okay, glamour spells. Yeah, somebody wanted your hair to fall out, your skin to be all, you know, this, your face possibly to break out here. Yeah, somebody wanted you to have the bare minimums. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand why would someone want that. Why would you want that? <laughs> I see 915. 915, that's the wounded warrior. That wounded warrior is a powerful manifester that's going through some changes today. Period. That's the energy. Continue to persevere. You're a champion. Period. Period. I see the eight of wands. This is spirit here. There's an arrogant, um, egocentric individual here that targeted you. They're, they, they are full of themselves. Okay, this could be an older man here. That's immature. Very immature. Mm -hmm. They're all about um, public appearance and um, what things appear to be. Okay. Yeah. Very, very shallow, superficial, kind of flaky ass, fake ass person here that tried to cause you uh, great trouble or that caused you great tribulation and pain and trouble here. Yeah. This person betrayed you. Mm -hmm. there was a betrayal here yeah i see i see the two of pentacles yeah the two of pentacles is heavy money that's heavy heavy investments yes heavy heavy investments it's something about what you do for work okay you could be a tarot reader a spiritualist a gifted medium a shaman a high priestess a high priest a hair font um someone that <laughs> has ancient wisdom and knowledge period yeah, that works with the Holy Spirit, okay? The Holy Spirit gives you messages, okay? Yes, it's no mistake. It's no accident. P 
period. Your messages come from our Heavenly Father. That there, there could be like an older masculine here that was jealous of you and your gifts. Yeah, I see April the 1st. That could be your birthday. There's the number four. Okay, you, you could be an Aries here. April the 10th is here. April the 4th. April the 12th. Aries energy. The magician next to the emperor and the four of wands. That's a... And the ten of wands. The, and the nine of wands. That's an Aries man. Okay? Aries woman. Yeah. Yeah, this person wanted to stop your progress, your movements. Um, possibly regarding your work here. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. This, this older masculine could be 41, 43 years old, 44 years old, period. So they targeted you in terms of what you do for your career, okay? Or just your ambitions and your aspirations and stuff like that overall, okay? Your willpower, um, your manifesting abilities. It looks like they really, really went after that area. And it also looks like they went after your love sector here with the four of wands here. The four of wands represents the twin flame. The four of wands also represent the ancestors that they are now having to be um, seeing now, okay? <laughs> yes, these ancestors, these beautiful, powerful, divine ancestors, by the way, are bringing the conflict to the collective's enemies. Period. Make no mistake about it. Mm. I see the two of wands here. The six of swords. So that's spirit. The two of wands, the six of swords, the five of wands, and the four of wands. Next to the page of wands. Your ancestors are moving you in the spirit. Or things are moving along quite nicely for you in the spirit. Your enemies have been warned to move along in the spirits, okay, they've been warned, move along, there's nothing to see here, okay, period, they ain't got the message yet, that they blocked off, they have no access to you, they burnt their face card up in the spirit here, um, they burnt any kind of bridge, <laughs> or, you know how they say don't burn your bridges collective, this motherfucker burnt the bridge, Okay, there's no there's no hope or reconciliation. This is an ex. For some of you, this is an ex interest, love interest, ex partner here. Uh, that did some very bad things. Okay, and they have no uh, no chance for reconciliation. Now take that how you want to take it. Perhaps you want to go back to your ex, but look, they're still coming up as the seven of swords. Very deceptive here. So you should think about um, that. Okay, you may be sad and you may be missing them. You may be sad and you may be missing them. Okay, you may want to reach out for professional help if you're thinking about harming yourself. Okay, period. This person really tried to break you down here. Yeah, I see uh, the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands, period. This person is a cheater. They wasn't faithful to you or you had some questions about their um, fidelity and commitment and, you know, loyalty. Could be why you broke up. You found out they were cheating. Or they didn't never was, or they were never committed to you, or it was a lack of really, really, it was a lack of a solid foundation here, or something like that. Okay, every story, everybody's story is different. Wow, I see the chariot. I rebuke dark energy. They were cheating. The knight of wands and the chariot and the seven of swords. What the hell are they going with the eight of cups? Right. Period. They want to come back around and heal something with you. Looks like they've been watching you or over the last eight days, eight moments, eight minutes, okay, eight hours, eight weeks. Uh, they had some form of a uh, way to watch you, okay? This could be physically, spiritually, okay? Yeah. So they wasn't faithful or you had some questions about whether or not they were or they wasn't uh, all the way committed to you, okay? They're highly deceptive and... Uh, just as uh, mischievous and not trustworthy today as um, the last time you've seen them. Any kind of apology they give you would be unsincere. Not not everybody is, you know, a raging narcissistic lunatic that wanted to see their ex be harmed. There are some people that genuinely want to apologize for what they've done to you. But you got to go to your spiritual team. Go to God. Ask your angels. Go to God. Ask your angels whether or not or listen to your intuition. Okay. 
okay, whether or not you should, uh, you could always accept some of somebody's apology. But if you know someone had um, willfully and intentionally set out to bring about great harm to you, you should avoid them. Don't even approach them. Don't interact with them, okay? But, yeah, if you have a family member or, you know, ex-partner, someone that, you know, you feel like deserves to be heard out, listen to them. Accept their apology. That doesn't mean you have to let them back in, okay? But do what you want once again. Yes, listen to your intuition, period. I see the five of pentacles. They can't come to your wedding because you know because you know you're going to be getting married, right? You have a kingdom spouse as a part of your divine inheritance here on the earth, right? Remember that. This person, you got some people that just simply can't go to your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> So I see an ex that's feeling left out today. Well, they made you feel left out. They wanted you out in the cold. They're out in the cold. Okay, you gave up. Uh, you left it alone. You moved on, okay? Yes, this person is still deceptive. If you have any questions about whether or not they change. A snake doesn't change. Well, a leopard doesn't change its spots, okay? A, ch a snake does not change. It's still a fucking snake, okay? Yeah. November the 15th could be your birthday, February the 1st could be your birthday. May the 2nd could be your birthday. January the 19th could be your birthday. Mm. August the 15th could be your birthday. April the 19th could be your birthday here. Period. Your ancestors are fully aware of your enemies. Mm -hmm. And they are being severely reprimanded and punished for their crimes. And if you're, fe and if you're feeling overwhelming overwhelmingly sad today heartbroken and in despair trust me you're not alone okay you're not you're gonna get through it you're gonna get through it you may be throwing up you may be violently ill okay a lot of trauma here our heavenly father wants us to heal okay someone may be seriously spiritually attacking the fuck out of you too somebody could be sending you a lot of negative energy sending you the evil eye this could also be this could also be physically people talking shit about you, okay? People not wanting to be receptive towards you. It's hurting your feelings. All that is in the energies. You're gonna be okay. You could be 42 years old, 24 years old. Yeah, I see Libra energy. October the fourth could be your birthday. October the second is here. Yes. Mm-hmm. I see the will of fortune and the king of pentacles. Yes. I see your divine masculine. He's stressed out or he has some fears here. Okay, divine feminine, you're not the only one. Okay, he may be unhappy today. This could be his energy. He's stressed out. He's burdened. He's overwhelmed. He's at his breaking point. He may have an inability to cope. He could be in mental anguish. Okay, over a connection. Okay, that's here. Or over or over a connection that um, is no more, honey. He's healing. Yes. I see your divine masculine as the king of pentacles. Okay. A mature. Okay. You see, he's mature. He's a mature grounded male. Very successful. Wealthy businessman. Okay. Spiritually wealthy. Spiritually wealthy. Mm. He may have been abused as a child here. Physical violence, perhaps. He could be suffering with childhood trauma. Okay, all that stuff is being brought up to the surface to be dealt with. Period. He seems to be thriving in business. Thriving in business. High status. Stable individual. Security minded. Okay. Mm. He could be stressing out about work too. Period. Hard working individual. Period. That's what I see here. Good news is on the way for Divine Masculine and for Divine Feminine. Yes. Yeah, he could have relocated. It's stressful. He could be thinking about relocation. That's stressful. Your Divine Masculine um, could be going through some difficulties at this time. Challenging times here. He has amazing talents. Okay, very action-oriented individual here. Very strong man here. Yeah. Yeah. He may go, you know, he may go somewhere quiet and cry to himself. Or, you know, he may have a select few friends that he allows to see him in a vulnerable state here. There's an inner strength here with the strength card. Okay? Your divine masculine could be a Leo. 
Yes, heavy, heavy Leo energy is here. Mm -hmm. Very brave, very confident, and very compassionate. Okay, he may be overwhelmed. His emotions may be overwhelming him tonight. Yes, mm. he could. Uh, he could like to drink. He could like to drink. He could like to party, hang out. It may be starting to take a toll on him too. Okay. He may. He may be feeling like okay. Um, he need to keep it together. He he could feel like hey, things are getting out of control here. I'm I'm partying too much. I'm hanging out too much. What's going on? I got to get myself back refocused. I got to get myself back aligned. Okay. He could be hanging around some negative influences here. Okay. Bad influences. That's here. Okay. He may he may be doing a self evaluation here. Okay. Yeah. He may feel off, okay? He may feel like something is off with him. Yeah, it looks like there's some negative energy that has been sent towards a divine masculine too, okay? Divine feminine is not the only one. Your divine masculine could be struggling with some sort of addiction too. Trying to cope here with a failing marriage or a failed marriage. Um, business could be kind of like, you know how that goes. You lose your job or... Having to fire people, having a, a challenging, difficult position at work could be stressful too. He seems to be worried here, or he could be. It could be something here that he's stressing about pretty heavy today, period. There's major changes and transitions that are happening in the world today, period. He's a hard worker, period. He may feel like he's slacking here and at work. He may have gotten fired. He may have suddenly decided to leave a company here. He may own his own company, and it's just been rough lately. And he may even be questioning whether or not that was the right decision. There's a lot of different things that's going on in the collective. Okay, the death card, the eight of pentacles next to the tower, that's someone that's getting terminated, fired here. Or they're going through massive um, obstacles related to their career. This could also indicate, like, Issues regarding co-workers, uh, what do you call them? Superiors, okay, managers, bosses. He could be dealing with stuff like that. It's got him stressed out here. He could be a manager, boss, CEO, upper management, working for a large corporation with the King of Swords being here. Yeah, he may have put in his two weeks notice, or he may have been asked to do that. He may have been asked to resign. It could be anything. It could be just overwhelmingly just stressing out about a divorce here. And it's taking a toll on him at work, okay? It's just affecting everything, okay? Yes, that's what I see here for divine masculine. It's like he's waiting for someone to try him. He, he looks to be very angry here. Could be up and down emotionally. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Don't worry yourself. Divine masculine, divine feminine, don't worry too much. I know we're going to worry. Okay. <laughs> weeping, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Period. Period, period, period. I see imagination being here in relationships. Your divine masculine could be healing here. Okay, there's a divorce certainly in the energies. Breakups in the energies. He needs to be more patient here. Period. He may feel like he's lost focus or he's off track at this time. Or he may feel like he's not successful, but he really is. He could definitely be having a lot of doubts within himself. Period. There's a lot of changes that are happening in the world once again. Especially with these divine feminists and with these divine masculines today. Period. He should take pride in how far he's come. Divine masculine, very courageous man. Very courageous woman. Yes. Mm-hmm. Service, I, I see service, service oriented, okay? He could be like a hostess or he works in a restaurant or something like that, okay? It could be like, uh, you know how sometimes you work in a crazy, busy setting and it can really stress you the heck out, that type of energy. The death energy twice is something going on related to his finances, his career, his abundance, just his overall um Financial stability, perhaps. Emotional stability, period. He needs to have more faith. Or he needs to just relax and know that he's going to be okay. Period. Period, period, period. Yes. God wants the best for us, okay? 
period. Divine masculine, God wants the best for you. You're not a failure, period. There could be a lot of arguing or there could be a lot of accusation regarding a relationship that he may have been in, it's been in, okay? Yeah, someone is accusing him. He's accusing them. There's a lot of adversities, a lot of conflicts regarding a relationship or a situationship here. Make no mistake about it. I see fear. Someone is heavily codependent on him, which is causing him to um, uh, maybe feel restricted or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure here, but I, I pick up on someone being heavily codependent on Divine Masculine, possibly making him feel guilty that they're divorced. Um, you know, it's something like that. Maybe make, maybe his ex-wife is making him feel inadequate or not good enough or accusing him of not doing the responsible thing or not taking care of her. There's a guilt trip here, period. Not being there for her, period. I see the balance and the loneliness energy possibly making him feel bad for being happy, period. Perhaps making him feel bad for accepting a new love or having feelings of love for another, okay? Making a decision, making the wise decision to be happy in his life, okay? She want him, she want him to feel regretful and remorseful for wanting um, what's best for himself. It's here, okay? Period. Clearly someone lacks empathy here, okay? In the connection that he was in, period. She's not understanding that he deserves to be happy or she's making him feel like, um, you know, you know how some people will guilt trip you here? Lacking empathy here. Yeah, she wants all the attention. It's something going on within that connection. Okay, excuse me. There's something going on here. The energies don't lie. The energies don't lie. Period. I see health here. Wow. I see health and peace. Divine masculine, he needs mental uh, clarity uh, to understand that, you know, it's just going to be okay. It's, it's okay. Don't feel bad, divine masculine. You may feel bad, but continue to persevere. You made the right decision. You have a divine feminine, honey. Period. I see peace and health. He just want, he just want peace. He just want to relax. He needs to relax and he needs to accept peace and just surrender to God. Okay. Perhaps become more disciplined. He may be feeling guilty because he feel like he's not, or he's slacking in his uh, discipline in the area of discipline. He needs to forgive himself. This divine masculine is hard on himself. Period. Perhaps he's feeling uh, kind of bad that he's let some friends get him off track. He's realizing some of these people was not of his highest good, babes. Period. He may even feel bad because he's outgrew some connection. A lot of these people, if not all of them, seem to be envious here. Envious here. They may have even been envious of him, making him feel bad because he wants to be in a better, you know, position in life. There are people like that, okay? So I see Divine Masculine um, definitely needing some healing here, okay? Yeah, we all do, we all do, we all do. We all need healing, and we all are healing. Clearly, you see that very evident here, okay? It's very evident. It's very, very evident. He wants peace here. Yeah, he may have lost his passion for a particular person here, and they're trying to make him feel bad for that, okay? Because he don't want them, or, you know, he's decided to put himself first and that's okay do what's best for him i spoke about us healing mm -hmm. yes it's something related to his finances here that is definitely here period he may not feel like he's good enough or he has enough but he is good enough and he does have enough and if they can't accept him for who he is with what he has then they don't deserve to be around him anyway period okay mm -hmm. yeah perhaps someone is demanding an apology from him Okay, perhaps, yeah, he could have been dealing with someone on a strictly sexual basis and he feels like uh, he may have gotten a little in over his head or he got in over his head because perhaps, uh, you know, he doesn't want to be vulnerable and open with her on those levels anymore, but she's still requiring or demanding of his money, his time or attention. He just needs to put his damn foot down. Okay, it's a lot of stuff going on with Divine Masculine. What the heck? Yep, he's released. 
he's released some people, some friendships are here that he that he's released, relationships that he's released. It's just here. He's took the leap of faith to do it. And he has to stand on it. He's gonna be okay. Yes. I'm picking up on birds for divine masculine. The birds are in the energies for him tonight. Yeah, he needs to forgive himself here. Okay, you're human. Okay. I mean, you've been put in a human body. Okay. Yes, and you are very protected, divine masculine. He's a masterful lover. Okay, he's a master at his craft. In in terms of his career as well. Okay, there have been people that intentionally have done things to cause these twin flames to have to go through a great emotional trauma. Yes, listen to your intuition, divine masculine. Listen to it. If you feel like it's best not to move forward with a particular person or situation, uh, that feeling is not wrong, okay? <laughs> Period. There could be someone that has an obsession with your divine masculine here. Period. Yes, it's about the money, you know? Somebody doesn't want to release um, perhaps a certain lifestyle that a divine masculine provided for them. Yeah, I see marriage, true love, play hard here. Yeah, there may have been some cheating in a marriage or a relationship or some questions of commitment and loyalty, okay? Moving forward, go slow, divine masculine. Go slow, divine feminine, period. Period, period, period. Yes, I'm not going to make this any longer. Pray for your divine masculine, okay? He seems to be um, going through... Um, a pretty heavy emotional time, okay? Pray for your divine feminine, okay? Pray for each other, collective, period. Divine masculine could be having some issues with his family. Divine feminine can be too. Perhaps divine masculine is dis discovering some family members um, that didn't have his highest, greatest intentions, okay? Yes, he's breaking through some sort of illusion here. Yeah, mm-hmm. He may be a father here. Very protective individual. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody could be clinging on to him, not not releasing him uh, or not um, letting the man relax. My goodness. Period. Yes. Collective. Have a little fun this evening. Okay. Laugh a little bit. Okay. Watch, watch Eddie Murphy. Watch one of his movies. Okay. Make yourself feel better, baby. You might as well because it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Collective, have a great day.